Diana. Good morning, Lindsay. Welcome. Thanks for coming in a little early. Sorry about that car trouble. Oh, bummer, dude. Have one of my famous cupcakes to cheer you up. They're pretty amazing here all. I had to leave a batch in the freezer for the gang bag of brains free so they wouldn't go into convulsions. Oh, nice. That's, that's nice of you. Let's take them into the break room. I'll show you around. I ran the simulation again early this morning for process and all indicators are positive. Morning, Josh. That's great to hear. I had another nightmare last night over this changeover. Woke up sobbing like a sick kid. <laughs> Understandable. If we fail this transition, it, this transition, it'll pretty much all fall on your head. Kill your career. You do tend to over-index on social awkwardness, Josh. Just keep working on that filter, buddy. What's that? Treats? You made us treats? <laughs> ah, well, despite my reputation as a nurturer, no, I did not. They came with our new customer service captain, Lindsay. She's nice. here. She's perky. You'll love her. What's with the giant cup of green goo? It's low alkaline juice. Ooh, it looks heinous. It is, but I'm starting a new me. Did you know acid is a magnet for sickness? Nope. Do you think drinking that stuff will bring your wife back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Jeez, woman. Way to suck up on your first day. I don't mind suck ups as long as they suck up to me. Oh, I love to bake. Do you do any baking? Heh! <laughs> yeah. In the sun. Watching my oldest, Ethan's interminable soccer game last Saturday. <laughs> forgot the sunscreen, forgot the waters. Almost forgot Jaden, my youngest. <laughs> Got up at stupid o'clock to get him to Chelsea in time. What's that? Louisa, tell her what a code Elliot is. No, you kids and your little catchphrase things. <laughs> a code Elliot is when you're about to get a customer you just know you're not going to be able to handle. <laughs> so you can call a code Elliot and one of the others will take over for you. Who's Elliot? Elliot was the guy I went to prom with. Elliot Palladino. Turned out to be a real douche. <laughs> Ripped his tux pants doing the running man and barked all over my mother's pashmina. Yeah, I remember when she came in that day for interview. Cupcakes are decent. Yeah, they look delicious. I was referring to her breasts. Yes, <laughs> me is a subject matter expert. <laughs> I know. I was the user experience me at Branch 3. Uh, <laughs> so if you have any questions along the way, be sure to direct them to Louise. Or me. Uh, I'll be happy to help out as I can. Number 93. 93. Number 94. Anyone? 94! <laughs> Number 95! Can I get a number 95? Well, good morning. Are you number 96? What do you think, Grandma? Oh, can we get this rolling? <laughs> good morning. Let me guess. First place in? Yes, that's right. Oh, hooray! What a great way to start my day! First licenses are one of the happy reasons to come to the DMV. I'm going to make this really special for you. <laughs> you shouldn't even be driving. Quit your moaning. How would we get around if I didn't drive? You're blind as a bat. I'm going to give you one of those self-driving cars. I'll escape. <laughs> New life. Breathe. New life. <laughs> New me. What can I do for you folks? I'm here to renew my license. No, she's not. She has tremors. Shut up, Herbert! Get off the phone. <laughs> Look, Art, I really gotta go. Yeah, I will. You really need to hang up. You sure talk to your ex a lot. <laughs> Josh, filter! Oh, God, what time is it? Oh, yeah. That's why I came... Well, that's what I came here to tell you. It's 11.58. Oh, sweet mother of Mary and all that is holy. Is George here? Not yet. We need to get out there. Can we please give it some gas? My call's about to start. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> How much is it? Well, first, ma'am, you need to pass a vision test. Nonsense! My vision is perfectly fine since the surgery. Now, how much is the license renewal? <laughs> we begin a slow motion sequence. <laughs> George Plunker, regional director here at one of our, um, best DMV branches for the execution of the excitement system upgrade. 
I'm going to make my way to these fine people, our fine customer. Hello, how are you? Oh, nice shirt, young man. Unplug, unplug. My purse, my purse. Told you, tremors. Shut, shut it off, shut it off. Can we please speed this along? I want to be your age by the time this is over. Uh, apologies, but the system appears to be down. It'll be just a moment. What the hell is going on? <laughs> just had an unexpected incident with some moisture, so we powered down. Everything's going to be fine, George. No, it's not. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that green stuff? I'm starting a new life! <laughs> what? Any liquid could fry the server, so we powered down. But it was during the changeover. This was not one of the troubleshooting scenarios. What? So how do we fix it? I could take the time to explain the complexity of this all to you, but it would go down about as well as when I tried to tell you how a tachyon field is created by reversing the polarization on a deflected dish. Yep, never mind. It'll just do what you have to do. <laughs> I came all the way down here to see the execution of the system upgrade. I'm having this document over social media for Christ's sake. Uh, maybe I can be of some help. I, uh, <laughs> I think we've got this covered. <laughs> well, okay, but you know uh, what? Just, you know, let the man do his job. My screen's gone black and the natives are getting restless. <laughs> We're having a bit of a technical issue, Marlo. Will someone please give me my damn purse? Let's get out of here, Herbert. We have to get you to the urologist. Uh, great. <laughs> Maybe he can prove to you I'm not dead for the waste. Well, is it fixed? My chop chop techie, I have to be in Lansing by three. I'm going as fast as I can, sir. This isn't exactly like flipping a light switch. Just take your time, Josh. You've got this. Diana, people are starting to yell. And someone threw gum in my hair. <laughs> I just know they mentioned something about an interruption in service at the training. Oh, right. Yeah, nobody paid attention to that got off the training. I don't think that drink is sitting too well. I told him that crap looked like poison. Do we have any peanut butter? Or should I ice the gum to get it out? Oh. <laughs> I need to concentrate. All this chatter is making me extremely anxious. All right, team. <laughs> Time to clear out and give Josh some space. Marlo, you go out there and entertain the grumbling masses. I'm on it, Chief. Take George and his nephew to the break room for one of your restorative cupcakes. Great idea. Right this way, Mr. Director. Nephew guy. <laughs> this situation requires a workaround, ladies. You're in luck. I'm the dark knight of workarounds. <laughs> attention! Attention, please! <laughs> attention! I need constant attention! <laughs> Listen up, everybody! How y'all doing today? <laughs> I said, how are you doing today? Um, not great. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, buddy. But things are about to get a whole lot better. My name is Marlo Carter, and you may not be able to tell from seeing me at my boring old desk job, but back in the early Y2Ks, I had a pretty promising stand-up career. God, the jokes are all like ancient. Okay. That's why I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, he's a cute boy and everything, but what is the fuss about Ilian Gonzalez, huh? <laughs> With my family, if I left home at six, my dad would have thrown a fiesta! <laughs> so what, are they back together or something? I don't know, Brian. Why do you ask? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm just curious, I guess, whatever. So, Madonna and Guy Ritchie got married. <laughs> Anybody notice that fake British accent she suddenly has? She's all like, Hello, Gatna! Hello, I'm Madonna! We'll see my team, my crumpets! Oh, a heckler. I remember my first beer. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, we've meaning to tell you. Eddie, Eddie finally got a job. He moved out. What? I don't believe it. Your useless little brother who tried to start a mobile ice cream experience with a cooler in the back of his pickup actually got a real job and moved out? Yeah, he's grinding stumps. He's a stump grinder. A what? <laughs> uh, ne never mind. Oh, someone just got this news. Who got fired? 
we're all going to be fine. Well, I can't wait any longer. I'm not fine, Granny. Young man, being of advanced age is better than the alternative. My sincere wish is that someday you grow old enough to become superstitious about your bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's total nonsense and incompetence. I guess, what else can you expect from some government employees? At least our jobs involve actual work. Yours sounds like a subsidy for goofing off. <laughs> what did you just say? Josh, take five, now. How's the cancer stick? Enjoying it immensely, thanks. <laughs> Sometimes the good stuff is the only reason I get up in the morning. <laughs> What's your damage? I'm trying to do a good job, you know, for my resume, so one day I can get out of this place. These people, total jerks. And Diana... Diana? I thought she was cool. Well, I guess I was pretty steamed. I could have decked this one guy. He insulted <laughs> Louisa and everyone. Would have felt so great to wipe that smug, privileged look off his face. <laughs> Working with the public and us body to do that physical harm? Oh, honey, I know that feeling well. <laughs> the other day, this dude tried to return a used whoopee cushion. <laughs> what did you do? I told them that at Mr. Christopher's gags and gifts, we have a strict no-return policy on fake products. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, time for me to respark the gummy worms. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh, but I had no choice. The customer must come first, even if he's a rude mother scratcher. No, I know. But just who does he think he is, assuming we're all idiots? There will always be a percentage that believe that about government employees. You think I don't know what they assume about me? Affirmative action. I can't possibly have worked hard and earned my position, right? Like, if I get to cheat my way into a job, it's going to be this one. Oh, mama, my dream has always been working at the DMV. <laughs> Diana, Josh, I found the note. Come on. <laughs> All right, Ryan, go ahead and plug the server back in. I'm not going to get zapped, am I? Nope. All the liquid is out. Me too. <laughs> you must make sure that you follow this food up sequence. Perfect. What do you mean? I think we're going to be up in just a couple minutes. Oh, that's fantastic. Nice job, Lou. Oh, for Christ's sakes, are we back in business yet? We need to see the execution of the system upgrade. We're just about there. Oh, yay! And the first time we're still here! <laughs> oh, that was great. Especially the one about friends. How do they afford those ginormous apartments? <laughs> right? All right, Lindsay. An odd services customer. Let's get a quick video. Then I'm off to Lance. Congratulations to our first Branch 12 customer for the new Excite Night Intake System upgrade. A new licensee. Welcome to the Michigan Roads, young man. Can you stop shaking my hand now? I think I kind of killed. <laughs> if by killed you mean emptying the room, then yeah, you totally killed. What about your new life? Screw it. It sucked more than my old life. <laughs> Dear. Just be thankful that it was an explosive diarrhea. <laughs> My cupcakes saved the day. Tough day, huh? Tell me about it. Hey, you, you want some? Coffee? At 5.30? No thanks. Not coffee. I knew you were going to have a crazy day. It's actually rum coke. Oh, haha, -ha, that's my drink. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot I have to pick up my car! Supposed to arrange a pickup from the dealership. I wonder if I can still catch them. I can take you. What? You what? Oh, that's so nice of you, Brian. Yes, no problem. What's a stump grinder? What? <laughs> stump grinder, is that a thing? Um, yeah, that's a thing. What do they do? They write code for nuclear missiles. <laughs> They grind stumps, what do you think? <laughs> what kind of stumps? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Tree stumps. Oh, but I mean, can you make a living in? Yeah, my, my buddy's a stump grinder. Does he make decent money? Well, I haven't exactly seen his W-2, but he's got a car, a house, <clears throat> stuff. Why are you so fascinated with stump grinding? Oh, it's nothing. Somebody was talking about it today, and I was just curious. 
All right, now that we solved that perplexing mysteries of stumps, <laughs> do you want to hit the road? Yeah, let's roll. <laughs>